Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham, and you're Sipping with the Wine Fox. With me today is 2017 Bravium Anderson Valley Pinot Noir from Mendocino County. It is in the $30 range. Bravium is Latin for prize, reward, or gift. And this bottle embodies all three of those. It is absolutely wonderful. I had it with two other people at the table, and there was uh, our palettes vary. We don't always agree on everything, but we all agreed that this is a phenomenal bottle. In fact, I had to ask, like, please don't finish it. I need a little bit for my review so I get to drink the rest with you. Lucky me. So it is 13.5% alcohol. The winemaker's name is Eric Falfs. And I can tell you that this is a balanced, elegant, and beautiful wine, which means it's never going to get massive a critical claim like it deserves. Look at that beautiful, clear opulence, that, that, that ruby color. I love to see Pinot look like this. It's not muddy or turbid. It, it's just like a gem absolutely beautiful to behold. Um, like I said, I get excited when I pour a Pinot and it looks like that. Oh my god. Okay, on the nose, it's Pinot. And I do tend to prefer Anderson Valley Pinot and it smells like an Anderson Valley Pinot. I get that cherry, um, like fresh cherry. I get this earthiness Almost a subtle sandalwood, some vanilla, some um, like damp soil after a rain, like when you go on a hike and there's that invigorating damp soil smell. I, I really want to drink this. And so did everybody else. On the palate, bright cherry, wisp hint of vanilla, some, um, like a slight herbal note, maybe a little bit of rosemary. It's a very clean, elegant, balanced Pinot. I get some uh, rose petal, like fresh rose petal. And it's one of those wines that's almost um, difficult to describe. It's not an obvious wine. It doesn't hit you over the head like, hey, I'm California Pinot, which typically is the type of Pinot that gets critical acclaim. This is a Pinot for people that like subtlety, sophistication, and balanced. Very Burgundian style. Clean. Mm. The tannins are gentle and fine. Beautiful. So I paired this wine with a Provence spice turkey meatloaf, roast radicchio that had um, some balsamic vinegar and salt on it, and it actually went well with this. Um, cauliflower mash with cracked pepper, um, artichoke, roasted fingerling potatoes, and there was even a little bit of garlic aioli that I would dip the artichoke petals into. And it was a very subtle garlic. And it actually, this wine held up to just a little bit of garlic. My biggest disappointment is that there is no information online about this wine. I know nothing. I can't tell the story. I wish I could tell you about the vintage, how the grapes were grown, what kind of coopers they used, how long it was in oak and what kind of oak it is, but I know nothing. And that's a shame. And if any winemakers are watching this, as soon as you release a wine, you should be uploading your information, your text sheet to your website immediately for storytellers like me, who pe people who are passionate and want to tell the story of the wine. Um, Cause it, I'm just empty handed. All I have is my own impression. And that's not always enough. Um, oh, oh my God, this is a 
gorgeous wine, absolutely beautiful, um, highly recommended. That is Bravium 2017 Anderson Valley Pinot Noir. Yeah. And to that, I say Sante. Look at that color. And Carpe Uvum. <laughs>